So I'm going to show you how to make the Starfleet emblem in plasticity. So just make sure in your preferences you're in millimeters here, because I want to 3D print this. So I've googled a picture of a Starfleet logo. I'm going to drag it in here, hit M, opacity, front, OK. Now I want it to be around 70 millimeters, so I'm just going to make a circle here click, press tab, seven zero, enter, right click. Uh, select my reference image, hit S, S, and just drag it down. Tell it's about the right size. And then I don't want this circle right now, so I'll just delete it. And we're going to use a control point curve and do the outside. So you'll left click, and then this is snapped here. So if I hold the control key, left click, it doesn't snap. Now, if you hold shift and middle mouse, you can pan your camera around. I just want to keep going around. Oops. See, I don't want that. I want to keep going around. Get as close as I can. Now I right click and it completes that curve. So now that we have this curve selected, you can click up here on edge select or you can press two. One, two, three, four, five selects everything. So I hit two, left click, and then hit O for offset. It's not going to be exactly the same, but I'll get it where I want it. Right click. Now I want to extrude the solid part around. So I'll hit three, click here. See, drag up. See, this means it's going that that far in that direction. If you hit tab now, it would put it out in both directions, but we don't want that. So we'll just go in here and say, I don't know, uh, five millimeters, enter, right click. There you go. So this curve, you can shift, left click to select two objects, hit X for delete. So now I wanna try and get the circle that's around the middle here. G and then Z to lower it. Oh, actually, that would be G and then Y. Sorry. Get down about right there. Uh, I'll scale it on Y a little. It's kind of stylized. X a little bit out right there. Yeah, that's good. So now we'll offset it with O right here. So now we'll click, and while we're pulling up on this, we'll hold control, then that'll snap it to wherever we want for the thickness. Right click, nice. Now we could have done this differently with how the circle is overlapping right here, but just for this, I'll show you this way. 
All right, I'll select the circle, shift select this, hit Q, then shift Q, it'll slice it. So now delete that, delete that, delete that. Then hit A to select everything. Q, Q, right click, good to go. So we'll go back into the top view here. All right, so I want to make the star, so I'll grab a polygon. Go somewhat in the middle here. Left click, drag it up, shift, and then roll the mouse button up. One, two, three, four, five. Oop. Let's try that again. Shift, one, two, three, four, five on the mouse wheel. Left click, right click. Hit one for control point. Now we want to select these guys here. SS, suck it in. Grab the top control point, GY. Drag it up. So now you really just want to move them about where it's supposed to be. It's not perfectly symmetrical, otherwise you could just mirror it. So now I'm hitting GG to do this. Nice. Now select face select or hit three, click here. And we already know it's five millimeters. So distance five, enter, right click. <clears throat> now we can delete this curve and this empty. We don't need it. Hit seven. And you got a Starfleet logo. So I wanna bevel the edges a little bit for printing. So on this guy, uh, here. So we select this edge, hit B, and then D. And what D will do, let's bevel it like this. If I hit C, then, you know, it's just like this. So B, D. We just want to do a little bit right there. Now I'm orbiting with the middle mouse button. So we'll get these two. Yeah, we might as well get all of them. Get this. Get this. 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 Now you could just drag here, but it's a good habit to just hit B, D, and move your mouse. Now, I don't want to do that too much for the star, but a little trick is hold Control Alt and hover over this edge, and it'll let you select all similar ones. So click B D, and if you hold Shift, you can do it in small increments. So just right there, left click, right click. Go into render mode. Now you can make these any color you want. Hit M, just change it. Oop, forgot the outside. All right, so now we want to export this as an STL file. Just go up here, export, 
STL Starfleet complete enter density it really depends what you're doing for the most part I set density to 1 hit OK and now it's exported I'm gonna prepare drag my STL in here and it looks pretty good so I've already got my settings set up how I want so I'm gonna go ahead and slice it total minutes 35 yeah we'll see how it goes so I'll go over to preview hit print upload and print see you popped up right here for me and I'll see you guys when it's done to boldly go where no man has gone before all right now what I forgot to mention to you previously was you see how the star is in the middle that's not they're not going to stay together when you print it I was gluing them onto something but if you want to put it on some kind of a base all, all you really need to do is so here I'll, I'll select the star and hide it with the H key or you can select the main emblem here and click period to isolate it so what I'm going to do here is make a circle about I don't know let's go about yeah right there should be okay so now I want to solidify this so what you can do is hit the tilde key in the top left of your keyboard right click then hit thicken now when you thicken you can drag it down hit tab to go over if you wanted to but we don't want to do that so we'll say uh, yeah negative five so if we want the star to come back up you hit the period key again I'm gonna bevel this a bit so I'm already in bevel mode here that I clicked on it so I can hit C so that's gonna chamfer it go right there now back in body select or object select I'll pick these I'm gonna hit one to go to front view GZ and pull them down just a little bit right click and then I can select everything Q Q right click and you've got one solid object then that'll keep this so if you select it and hit H you'll see I left a cutout in there so do the same thing here so I guess you could fit it in there but you might want to widen that up a bit just for the clearance like it's like barely like negative point one now I'm selecting all of these by holding alt and shift alt will select the whole face loop and then 
you know, shift is to select everything. So, yeah, just barely negative one. Whoops. All right, click that again. Negative point one. That actually looks kind of cool like that. I might not even want to put those in it. So here, say I'm going to duplicate this, move it over. And if you want to export just that as the STL, you select it. And then it'll export just that object. 